All right, this time up, I'm piecing together uh, three different videos I did on the uh, Max Advance brakes, which I installed on a 2012 Chevy Impala 9th Gen. Uh, I did the uh, unboxing and install, the one-year review, and I'm going to wrap it up with the two-year review. So uh, let's get to it. Today, we're going to unbox and review Max Advance Brakes for my 2012 Impala. So yes, I excitedly went ahead and cut everything open, but I got two packages. So what I ordered, I ordered a um, complete set, front and rear. I bought the OE style rotors. I did not get drilled and slotted, but I got the uh, coating. So I went ahead and opened up the uh, the rears. I mean, these are pretty high quality. First impression, I'm pretty impressed. It's got the little crosshatch pattern on there. The rear ones did not have plastic around them. They came in a separate box. Um, the fronts came in the big box. I took the, uh, they had uh, bubble wrap in here. Came with these uh, pads. The pads come with hardware. So yeah, I got the M1 Supremes. These are like the uh, carbon ceramics, I think. They come with, uh, here's the hardware. Didn't come with boots or anything, but came with the clips. And, oh, I get it out of the box here. They got the nice break-in coating, so you don't have to, you know, how they, how you normally bed your brakes in. Anyways, this is the fronts. And the rears are <laughs> obviously considerably smaller. But I mean, look at this, nice packaging, shrink wrapped, pretty impressive. Doesn't, it appears that maybe the steel is painted. It's not powder coated, so we'll see how well that lasts. And this came with a clip kit too. Let's dig out one of these front rotors. One of these bad boys came wrapped in plastic. I have not cut this one open yet. Utility knife here. Blade is dull. Look at these. are snazzy. You can see there's they're coated all the way through. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. It's not just on the outside. They coated this whole thing. So when you apply the brakes it'll wear the coating off the surface but so far I'm impressed. And let me tell you I have bought some junk brake parts in the past. Um, this kit was 172 bucks, ordered directly from Max Brakes. They actually have a storefront on Amazon and eBay, and it costs more to order through either. So I went directly to their website. Um, <laughs> I will say this: if you order them around any holiday. It's going to take forever for them to ship. I put my order in on December 20th. And they were closed on the 24th and 25th. And then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So it took exactly three weeks for these to arrive. But otherwise, hey, I was going to go for some AC Delco Advantage, I think was the... I got a 
go back and stock my uh, Rock Auto wish list. Um, I was gonna, essentially the same. They were carbon ceramic pads and uh, coated rotors. And I priced them out at like 275 That was before tax and shipping. Um, I will say this, this is a Canadian company. They ship to the lower 48. They do not charge sales tax and they do not charge shipping. So that 172.95 is what I paid. And that was for the upgraded rotors and pads. And if you just wanted to cheap out and get plain rotors and their, you know, I don't know what their first level, I'll link everything in the description. You can get them for around hundred bucks. If you want to cheap out. I splurged, although I didn't want to get drilled and slotted. But uh, I'm going to throw them on the car and we'll do be a one year follow up, two year follow up. We'll see how it goes. So I guess just a little before and after. I did the uh, front passenger side, this is the front driver's side. And I live in the Rust Belt, had this car going on three years and haven't had the brakes. I haven't done the brakes personally and I don't really know when these were last done. But this here retaining bolt, it's a hex, like a T30. Sorry, it's a star, Torx T30. Uh, stripped it out, and I had to drill that thing out. Uh, surprisingly, though, the vice I got the vice grip on the end of the stud, and it came right out. So, I don't know, this is just sticking to the old rotor. And I hit it with some PB Blaster beforehand. But here we go. Here's my <laughs> worn out rotors, my razor thin pads. Let's check out the max pile of tools over here. I went and smeared some anti seize on the face. That's how she looks. Got the pads in. That light, look at that beef. All the beef on those pads. Whew. Oh, and I gotta say, if you're doing uh, ceramic brakes, you gotta use this synthetic caliper grease. <laughs> this cold as is it out here, this shit's like molasses. But uh, got the slider pins all lubed up. I mean, honestly, I don't need to show any of you how to do a brake job. There's tons of videos out there. The only difference on this uh, 12 Impala, the uh, rear um, calipers are different. I might just uh, pop in when I'm doing those and show you. I have this tool here to, the uh, pistons have a, uh, they need to be spun in as they're being compressed. So I have this little tool to do so. Comes in a whole kit. Maybe I'll uh, pop back in when I'm doing one of the rears. But here's how she looks. Oh, and uh, another thing, when I had this rotor off, I sanded all the rust off the hub, smeared anti-seize all over the whole thing before I put the rotor on. And right before I put this back together, I'm just gonna hit this with some brake clean on the just on the surface front and back just to get all the grease and whatever off there so now got my fronts done I'm moving to the back I gotta say these bolts what a shitty bitch this on my driver's side I got my hex uh, socket in there and this thing snapped off <laughs> I'm trying to drill all around the head of the screw because I can't fish that piece out no matter how I try. But this side, <laughs> I just went ahead and I felt the little bit, little, littlest bit of resistance, I just drilled it out. Now I can't even twist that the rest of the way. Well, I'm not putting them back. Those are the stupidest things I've ever heard. I mean, for fuck's sake, when you put your rotors back on, you put lug nuts on to hold everything in place. Anyway. So I have my little tool, you put this little thing on here, and there's a magnet. I went in my K2 
case and I found number four because that little teeth on there correspond with the piston on there. And this just literally sits on here. You line those two holes up. The magnet holds it. And then uh, you get a 7 8 open end. Essentially, I just wind, you know, line these up on here, then I wind this backwards. Got to have it centered. Then you just hold the wrench while you twist inward. There she goes. Now she's starting to turn. Sorry, I'm holding the phone while I do this. Now as you turn, it's twisting, it's compressing and twisting clockwise the way direction it's supposed to go. Ah, oh, wrench came on. Look, you just keep doing this until it's all the way in. When it's bottomed out, you're done. I think it's going to continue to spin. Nope, that's the end of it right there. All right, so that's how you compress your piston on your uh, 20, I think it's 2010 or 2011 and up Impala. And it's, I used to have a 95 Buick Regal. And these are, I mean, the calibers aren't identical, identical, but these are the exact same way that you uh, compress the piston. So another thing I noticed when I cut the brake pads out of the plastic wrap, on the back of this thing, gives you a break-in procedure. Which, I mean, it has that break-in coating on it. I think I'll, I'm not going to go as aggressive. You know, it says the five aggressive stops, five moderate stops. Eh, what the hell, maybe I'll do it, I don't know, it's the middle of fucking winter, I don't know if I'm gonna... <laughs> Gotta find a street that's desolate and plowed real well so I don't lock up. Well, that's my problem. So, one other little observation I forgot to mention. When you're compressing this piston, make sure those little fingers there are perpendicular to the, uh... To the bracket because on I'll just show you on the old pad here there's a little notch that that little V has to fit into you can kind of see where the outline of how oh, that piston rubbed up against the old pad just remember to do that otherwise uh, this caliper is not going to seat back on there correctly well now I've gone close to 300 miles since I've broken these brakes in First impression, well, I was going to say my uh, brakes were wasted, so of course you can't compare a fresh set of brakes to your old ones, but I uh, had a bitch of a time bedding them in because it was like five degrees outside. I don't think I got them hot enough, but uh, I could tell when that coating on the rotors and the pads were still there that they, they just weren't biting. But now uh, they seem to bite pretty well there's no shaking shimmying none of that it seems solid so I'm gonna pull in the garage and pop a couple of the wheels off and just take a little peek okay here we are about three months later I'm about to take my wheels off and show you what the max advance brakes look like I'm gonna be giving a demo of my Ryobi impact gun, three speed. I forget the model number. It comes with a four amp hour battery. I'll put a link in the description for the hell of it. Big 
boom, it just makes short work of these lug nuts. I have the spline lug nuts on here. Boom, short work. All right, so here are my rears. We're three months past installation. Let's give a good look at this. Coating's still there, just dusty. It's still on the face. I mean, it's not as shiny anymore. Let's look at those pads. Oh, look at that. Still looking good. Paint is still intact on those pads. All right, let's check out the front. We need to get the light for this one. There we go. All that black is still inside there. Paint is still on the pads. But anyways, here you go. First impression of the uh, Max Advance Brakes. We're at the three month mark here and I'm gonna check in in another year. We'll say April when I put my summer tires on next year. All right, I don't know why I still have this box from after 10 months, but I'm about to show you how these Max Advance Brakes are holding up after about 10 months. About a half a winter, all a summer, so stay tuned. All right, so here we are, roughly 10 months after I installed these uh, Max Advanced brakes. You can see they're a little dirty, but uh, that uh, coating is holding up. It's holding up on the drum hat. Whatever you want to call it. Still looking good. The pads are... Like, that paint is holding up. I still got a lot of... Uh, beef on the pad material looking good these are my rears yeah like man pretty impressive I'll check out the fronts next all right here are the 2012 Impala max advanced brakes uh, front rotors a little bit of that stuff is flaking off a little bit of rust forming there. This is 10 months. A little bit of rust forming. Otherwise not bad. The pads are... Yeah, wow. Look at that. There's still a lot of meat on those pads. So that's how we're sitting. Let's call it a year. Because I'm not about to crawl up under here in January again. Unless <laughs> something breaks. <laughs> but the way these things look, we'll call we'll call 10 months good enough. We'll call this the one-year review of the Max Advance Brakes. i got to say, as soon as I uh, got a few miles on them, they, they uh, appeared to uh, bite a lot better than when I first put them on. It could have been because it was below zero when I was bedding them in. But uh, all's well. We'll check back in another year and I'll give you a two year update on these. All right, up next, we're gonna do our uh, two year update on the ninth gen Impala Max Advanced Brakes. So stick around. All right, so we're clocking in around two years on these uh, Max Advance brakes. So I did, I bought the uh, the rotors that had the uh, coating, the black coating on them. And here, you can tell it's still on the uh, face of the rotor, but uh, it's pretty much gone on the tops there. And just to reiterate, I live in Minnesota and 
you know, they salt the shit out of the roads here. I'm gonna try to get in how much beef we got on these pads here. There's still plenty, plenty, plenty of material left on those pads. These are the fronts. I'm trying to get shot. Well, a little bit of a ridge on here. Not bad, actually. I mean, if I were to change the pads right now, I'd just sand down the faces. Right here are my rears. And it looks like the coating is holding up. The, not a, any kind of a lip there at all. I don't see how much material we got on these pads. And still plenty of material left. Sorry, I'm trying to shine the light in here so we can get a good. Alright, so here they are at two years, and this is going to be my final update because I'm going to be selling this car, so I won't be able to do a three year update. Maybe I'll get them for my next car and do the same, but uh, I think for what they cost and what condition they're in now, I still recommend them. Yeah, I'm going to be getting them for my next car. I recommend you do as well. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, check out my other videos, and we'll catch you in the next one.